In this video, the Moza Gimbal Stabilizer tried to repair it in various ways due to failure, but it did not receive repair service, so it was disassembled. The decomposition method and process were made into a video. As I tried to disassemble this product, I couldn't find any related data or videos. Therefore, we hope that the decomposition data we tried will be useful to those who need it. First, as a fault, the power went out during use and the power did not charge and the power did not turn on. Second, to infer the failure part, I thought of it as poor adhesion due to the completion of the life of the charging battery and the departure of the internal connection terminal and the pause of the operating program. So I tried to break down the body part with the rechargeable battery. As a new tool, I need a separate LAM GT5 size and it's cheap when I buy it on the internet, but I bought it at 8001 on the tool. This is because a tester is required and the tester can determine. Fourth, it's the order of decomposition. There are three places to unscrew, two at the torso, two at the top, and two at the fold. Unscrew the screw and then open the plastic joint with a thin straight screwdriver to break it apart. Next, if you control the abnormality of the charging battery with the tester, you can judge it by the participating bolt. I thought there was nothing wrong with the charger of this product because it had a 3.5 volt interior of 3 volts. For the other parts, I tried to connect the faulty part by removing the connection, terminal, and reconnecting it. After that, when I connected the charging power, the light came on. So I decided that there was no problem and combined it. After charging was completed, it was confirmed that it worked as before. Thinking about the failure after repair, I think it's a poor contact or a program malfunction at the connection. With this, we have introduced the decomposition process, and we hope that the same product will be helpful to those who have difficulties because it is broken. Please refer to the video that was made because the Moza gimbal of this product was broken, so it was difficult to find a repair shop and it was difficult to put on the warranty center, so please refer to the video that was made for the reason why you should not purchase this product. Thank you.